Okay, in this video, we're gonna take a look at doing product photography for our e-commerce store. And we're gonna shoot something real simple. It's just gonna be a mug, which is a great seller for us. And we're gonna do some staging. Uh, I went to Home Depot and picked up a piece of wood. I cut it into three pieces so that I'd have a little bit of a top. And I did the same thing with the back here. And I just hung it from a chain. So anyway, very simple. I can change my backgrounds and I can change the top here. Uh, this one we're going to set up a bit of a coffee scene. So I've got a few elements and I'm going to start to bring these in. I've got the cream and I'm just going to set this up roughly and then I'm going to see how we can make it look really decent. And then we're going to snap some shots and then I'm going to change things up a little bit, take a couple more and find out exactly which is the, the best. So I've got um, cream, I've got some sugar, I've got a spoon, I've got some coffee beans, which I am going to spill onto the table here. I'll just get some like that and I am going to lay this bag down like that and I'm going to take all of these beans move them up to the front here and the last thing that we need is the coffee and I am going to go and grab the coffee right now and then we'll see exactly what this looks like. Okay, so we have the coffee right here and I'm going to set this up in the back. And now I'm going to start to move things around and I'm just looking in my camera so that I can get the look that I'm after, or at least a starting point. I'm going to move that over. I'm going to move this over something like that. I'm going to move this in a little bit. I think that looks pretty good. And then the coffee bag I have sitting right here. And I'm going to spill some beans. And I'm going to spread those out and I'll separate a few of them here at the front. And we'll see what that looks like. I'm going to try and get a few more. So it looks like they're coming out of the bag. There we go. Let me get a few more of these there. And I'll try and mess this up a little bit. That looks pretty good. And I am going to take a little bit of sugar and I am just going to spill some here. And I'm going to set my spoon down like that. And let's see what this looks like. That's looking not too bad. I'm going to move some up here. And I'm going to put the spoon there so it's a little bit visible. And I'm going to take a look. I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to move the coffee in a little bit. And I think that's good. We're going to take a shot and then we're going to make a few changes and see what we can come up with. So I will just focus. And we have a shot there. I'm going to move the coffee in a little bit and I'm going to take another one. And that's looking pretty good. I'm just going to back it up just a bit. I always like to take lots of shots because you never know which one is going to look the best. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change things up. I'm going to try and simplify it a little bit by removing the coffee and keep my photo in balance here. 
and I'm going to do something like this. And I think maybe I'll take the lid off. And let's see what that looks like. I'm going to move this here over like this. And I'm going to move this right about there. And I'm going to try the, the lid just sitting right here. That's a little bit messy. Okay, we're going to give this one a try. And that looks pretty good. And now I'm going to do the I'm going to do the cream and sugar together just to see what that looks like. And I'm going to move the bag over a little bit. I'm just trying a bunch of different uh, variations because you never know which one is going to be your favorite. Here we go. And let's try this bag in a little bit more. And let's see what that looks like. Now um, I'm using a flash and I'm using a DSLR, but you can use a iPhone or your cell phone to take this shot as well. As long as you have some nice natural lighting, we'll go into lighting in, um, in a couple of the future videos. Right now, we're just going to focus on composing the shot and coming up with some variations. So I'm going to do one more. I'm just going to move this one over a little bit. I'm going to take one more shot and then we're going to hop on the computer and we'll do the editing. And that's it. We will see you on the computer and we'll edit this, uh, this up so we can see what it looks like. Okay, we're going to do the editing of this image in Lightroom. And what I did is after I shut off the video, I put in a clean mug and just took uh, another two photos. And anyway, I just picked the first one here and this is the one that we'll edit. So the first thing that I'm going to do in Lightroom is scroll down and look for lens corrections and check chromatic aberration and enable profile corrections. And there we go. And we'll scroll back up to the top and I'm going to go to the crop tool and click on original and go down to enter custom. And I'm changing this to a five to four ratio because that's uh, what Etsy uses and that's where this image is going to go. I'm going to go to the top right and I'm just going to drag this down so I have a better focus on the mug. I'll grab the top left and I'll drag that down a little bit. That looks pretty good. And I'll go to the bottom right and I am going to, you'll see when you get down here, you get the rotation tool and I'm just going to straighten up this image. And now I'll click on the crop tool and it's looking pretty good. The, uh, what I'm gonna do here is just click on auto for the tone and that looks pretty good. And I'm gonna go to saturation and just warm it up a little bit. And now I'm gonna go up to the radial filter tool. I'm gonna to click on that. I'm then going to go to the center of the mug and I'm just going to drag this out and it's just like a big spotlight. And I'm just gonna put the spotlight in the center of the mug there. And that's looking pretty good. I'll just click on the tool again to lock it in place. And I'm happy with the way that looks. I don't really need to adjust anything else. I'm ready to save the image. So let's go to File and Export. And I will click on Export. And now I'm gonna to go to Photoshop. And you can use Canva, whichever one you use for adding your designs and doing your editing. And I'm going to open the image that we just created. And it is right here. And we'll open it up. 
and I'm just going to make it full size just so we can see it a little bit better and just go to file place embedded I've got a coffee design right here I'm just going to place it first of all I'm going to resize this just drag that down and now I'll just drag it into place Need to, a little bit more and just drag it right to where I want it to be and I'll probably just increase that just a little bit and that's pretty good right there we'll just hit uh, enter and we are done I think it looks pretty good uh, if you are interested in picking up this mock-up without the design so that you can add your own designs to this uh, I'll put the link to the product listing in Etsy. I'll load that up right now and make sure that the link is in the description if you want to buy it. And I will also put a, a lifetime coupon code in the description and that should help you out. Uh, anyway, make sure that you like and subscribe if you like this style of video because we're going to be making lots more just like this and we're also going to be doing some marketing videos. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.